I got Stubler. Today I got a game in the Oodaloy for you. Why am I playing this ship? Well, I don't have a lot of XP in it. And over the past weekend here, Wargaming didn't exactly confirm, but strongly implied that Tier 8 is coming. And hopefully in the next update, that would be pretty outstanding. But I'm kind of going through all my Tier 7 Tech Tree ships. Some of them I got a lot of XP on, some of them like the Oodaloy here, not a lot. So we'll talk about the Tier 8 coming quickly. And then we'll dive deep into this game because this is an outstanding uh, game. We get two ships on our team with over 3,000 XP. So a hard carry and win at the buzzer. Now, uh, But what is this going to mean? Well, we don't know exactly. Okay, right now we have Tier 7, uh, which is basically mostly Tier 8s on PC with a few exceptions. And then we have Legendary Tier, which is mostly Tier 10 on PCs with a few exceptions. Now, the Legendary Tier ships are definitely strong and... Maybe they want to get an extra tier in anyways. Maybe the player uh, base is robust enough that they feel they can do that and preserve the plus one minus uh, matchmaking that we have in Legends. And that's going to be great. Now, everybody's kind of hoping that these are going to be grindable ships. Please, God, don't put them in the Bureau. Uh, we need something... <laughs> we need some sort of refuge for... Uh, you know, people, number one, to keep them engaged by grinding out ships. And number two, an area of the game that you know, players that have actually got a little bit of experience uh, would be hanging on. So my hope here is that it's going to be kind of a kind of a lengthy grind to get these. Um, but, you know, that's that's fine. Players that have been playing a long time, we don't really have much to do uh, in between every two or three months where we get a new line and it doesn't really take that long to grind it out. So that's what's kind of coming. Uh, what's it going to mean? Uh, you know, we're assuming that it is going to be a tech tree grindable uh, set of ships. Then we're going to want some XP on all these ships. How much we're going to need, nobody knows. Uh, that's an open question. So hopefully we'll be getting more uh, answers here in a couple weeks when we get a look at the patch notes and we'll be covering that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're interested in staying up to date on what's coming, go ahead and slap that uh, subscribe button. Okay, now here we are on the weak side. We're on uh, north. Is it north? Yeah, north. <laughs> um Trying to capture A here. We're getting pushed heavily. We got a Massachusetts here. And I understand I can't hold the cap versus a Massachusetts, a Helena, and Iowa. Uh, so we got the cap, luckily. And now it's contested. We're going to get out of here. We're going to try and get one more set of torps off on here. Didn't get a very long smoke cloud, so we don't have a lot of concealment to work with here. But I'm trying to get one more set of torps and then maybe go see if we can go support B. Team uh, kind of, the red team doesn't look like they're really contested C. And ours is moving aggressively through. The other guy who's going to get a huge score is in Iowa, and he's pushing in there. He's going to capture the base, move forward a bit, and then start cross-firing the guys that are kind of anchored to the north of the Big Island, just kind of sitting there. So long-term, you can keep an eye on him. He's going to have a good game as well. But we're going to do what we need to do over here, and this is going to be crucial for winning this game because if we don't make the plays we're going to make, this is a loss, and it's not even going to be close. We're trying to get distance between the Massachusetts. I got Trubetsky on this build right now, 6.8 concealment. I'm not digging that. I'm probably going to go back and <laughs> adjust the build here. And that guy squeaks through those torps. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. And we could use a little bit more concealment on this thing. Uh, so, you know, maybe we... I got four or five <laughs> Russian destroyer commanders. We'll probably come up with a different build. I don't typically run concealment on the first line of Russian destroyers. They're going to be made for long-distance fighting. And you're going to get outspotted anyways, kind of the theory. Uh, but this game, we're going to have trouble disengaging from these battleships we do have an opportunity to assist here though we do have two destroyers per side both of them were spotted on b fantastic is pushing forward here looks like his engine's knocked or he's slowing down trying to dodge whatever it is but we chime in there get him off the board we got an indianapolis posted north of b that's a dangerous ship that's going to prevent me from moving into b because he's got the radar on there and we don't want to be uh, removed from the board uh, too early in this match so we continue to hold A, which means it's neutral. They got ships on there that's not generating points. We're generating points on C. Uh, they got B right now. So right now the score is kind of frozen in the background. And you can see we have just a slight advantage because we got C before they got uh, B. That's how that works. So we're going to do our best to try and maintain this lead here. Trying to spot a little bit. See if we can sneak a torp in here or something. I'm seeing, well, let's see if this Indy gets chased. Maybe I can grab B quickly. That would be a huge turning point because I'm going to have two... Caps actively producing, and then A would once again be kind of uh, neutral. And the score in the background 
would run up. But the Indianapolis lives, and I'm seeing Twist and Track over here. I'm thinking, well, the last the destroyer was last seen kind of pointing over this way. I'm wondering, is he going to try and disengage? Can we cut him off? So that's the plan right now. Send some torps in there because we're not planning on using them for the next minute or so. Anyways, so might as well uh, launch them. Twist and track bends over here to the west. That's suggesting that the Massachusetts is closer now, so the destroyer is probably about 8 kilometers to the north. And it's not comfortable pushing into them once again because the radar. And if this Massachusetts comes around here, we might be completely surrounded. The Massachusetts has a mighty secondary attack as well. So we might get clobbered if we get stuck in the middle of these ships. So I'm trying to be cautious here, uh, but getting a little bit desperate. Team is pushing north attacking the carrier that's fine since they're there anyways i wouldn't spend too much time do get a couple torp strikes into the b uh cap we got another looks like the flood on the king george there and another strike towards the massachusetts he's been playing with his uh his throttle so he's going to wind up dodging that one uh and now we're going to once again trying to be desperately getting away from here we got nearly two kilometers of distance to gain so we're just going to point away from him now we could shoot maybe one or two cells because it's going to take 20 seconds to get out of here anyways but I'm just trying to keep the gun silent trying to get as much distance as we possibly can from him uh there goes the carrier on their team so that'll be an advantage the blue team will have uh for a while but you can see ship count overall uh equal secondary is raining in here we are doing taking a little bit of damage here almost about to escape that 6.8 kilometer uh, range and here we do finally drop spot and now we got a little bit of breathing room Ah, uh, but we still got some shots coming in from B as well, so situation tight. Uh, there's no doubt no doubt about that. Uh, put some strikes in towards that Massachusetts, hoping to get him, uh, since he looks like he's winning the fight against our battleship that's over there. Although they're, they're trading pretty well, but it's a 2v1 fight over there. Firing at the Iowa just to get a couple resets. I can see these guys' attention is going to be focused on the battleship. Pop the smoke, seeing if we can get some damage here. Thinking, okay, the Massachusetts looks dead. Now, I should confirm that a little bit more. I thought he was strictly broadside. Now that he's going to eat about three or four of these torps. So I stopped shooting at him, thinking, okay, let's see if we can support over here, get some fires on the Iowa, potentially. Do get the one strike on the mass, but he does turn in. Now we got a bit of an issue, because he's not that far from us. And if he pushes our position, uh, he can spot us within three kilometers using the proxy spot mod and slot three on his ship build. And then... His secondaries and main guns will chew us up. So we're having a hard time here. And you got to realize this is a destroyer player. If the battleship's moving in to you like this, yeah, we're getting about a 1,000 damage for good salvos every four or five seconds. But if he's got a lot of health, we can't physically sink him. And even being this low and even getting support from our team, uh, we're having a real hard time getting rid of him. Okay, and now he takes out the Atlanta, who is supporting us. Now I'm thinking, okay, well, this game's looking pretty dicey. We got four ships. And they got five. We do have the two cap advantage, and they did get off of A, so that's temporarily producing um, some income. But at this point in time, I'm thinking, man, we got the Massachusetts bias. I got to get him out of here because those secondaries, and then we're going to have to once again outrun the Iowa. And uh, let's hope, hope for the best. So uh, very dicey here, hoping to get him off the board here. Uh, Iowa, I'm thinking, all right, he's. I thought he was going more or less full speed, so I thought that one might actually whack him. Those are going to wind up being quite a bit behind him. And then we're not shooting that at the Massachusetts. He's probably noting this, so he's probably thinking in his mind, okay, there's Torps. Uh, so I probably wanted to aim a little bit more towards his ship. He's slamming on the brakes, dodging actively, and we're going to miss him with that close-range salvo. Do get the fire, though, and the fire does stick, uh, which means the Massachusetts is on the ropes. Luckily, the Iowa chimes in, gets him off, and now, if we can, we can maybe use the smoke to block the Iowa, but we need to get out of here. going to, once again, stop firing the guns. Let that cool down whenever we fire the main guns. we got 20 seconds until our spotting drops back to our normal detection range. Uh, if we continue to fire, that continues to extend the time. So we want to, of course, stop firing. And then we need to make a beeline towards B. Helena over there, I'm noting he's low. And with the amount of HP we have, we could potentially uh, take him out if need be. Uh, so we'll keep that option in mind. Iowa inexplicably turns away. I don't know why he's... <laughs> protecting the side of the map that he already controls uh nevertheless we can't control the mistakes our opponents make we can only can uh we can only control the plays we're making ourselves so a bit of a mistake on the red iowa part there he should continue to push uh cover into b uh set up a crossfire on this iowa who's way up here north 
Now they got a destroyer running amok who's been trying to torp them. I think it's a Minsk. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but, you know, he's the Iowa's kind of moving towards B. He kind of sees that I'm also moving towards B. So both of us fully aware that we need to get this cap here. Helen, okay, he's getting some harassment from the carrier. We chime in with the guns anyways. We got a long, basically full distance uh, gun range to him, so we got a nice chance against him because we can dodge his shots pretty easily. Our shots get downrange much quicker than his do. Drop spot since the Iowa disengaged there. Turn in hard, and we dodge basically more or less all those. Okay, now Bismarck, pretty close to the cap here. I do need to get on the cap, though. This is no longer an option. You can see we're now down 11 in terms of the background score being tied on ships. More or less, um, you know, three ships to three. They're not all equal value. But if we don't get the cap and we don't get it soon, we got problems. I'm also seeing the Mansky shooting at the Iowa fine. Uh, but I see what he's doing. He's going towards C. So we're going to set up to counter him as quickly as possible. Um, but we need to get this cap first and foremost. That's not negotiable. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. We're going to open up on this Bismarck. And I'm, the risk that we're taking there is, number one, does he have a secondary build that can reach us? And if he does, those shots might hit us. They might reset us even though he's fighting the Iowa. So a little bit risky here, but we got. I don't want him, the Iowa to get rammed. Uh, I don't want him to get too hurt here because if, as of right now, we need quite a bit of points. If we lose him, that's another 100 points that the enemy advantage will increase by. So we're doing just a little bit of damage here, trying to do what we can. Iowa luckily gets him with a ripper there, takes him out. We got 15, 16 seconds left to capture this base, and then it's going to be off to the races. Now our carrier is going to be doing a good job here. He's going to keep flying over this Minsk. He's trying to bomb him, uh, but... A good benefit for us is he's going to keep us keep him spotted for quite a bit. Uh, I would prefer even that the planes don't actually try and bomb him, you know, preserve their numbers, just fly around this guy, keep him spotted. That, we, that way we can get a nice uh, quick strike on him coming around the bend here. But the planes, because they're flying over him, doing a great job attacking the destroyer, he's going to wind up popping a smoke. Now, it's off to the races here. Doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot to me if uh, they capture C because my intention is to immediately flip it back. We got about three minutes left on the clock here. We do need to be thinking about factoring in about a hundred point loss just in case our Iowa does die. And it's a you gotta assume that it's likely, even if the guy's playing well, even if he winds up winning that fight, okay, good, that's a bonus. But strategically, when we're thinking about this, we gotta be thinking, okay, we need a hundred point lead uh, plus. To win okay so if i kill the destroyer that's 75 so if the iowa goes down we only got a 25 point deficit and then can i get this base captured quickly enough to generate that income the answer is yes so the iowa who turned off unfortunately for him that's going to wind up costing him the game if he's on b right now fighting uh our iowa then i think they have a pretty good chance of winning this game uh, but for him you know he's conceding a lot of points by not attacking b here is basically the uh, name of the game we saw twist and track on the left there briefly it moved to the right here and it's off to the races we hit him once we know he's going to die with one more shot i don't want to die here though i don't want to trade equally uh he's in the suicide torp rush mode he launches on the indicator we dodged easily and that is now the game over you can see the score right now we're up 150 points iowa even if he dies their iowa's not going to have enough time to get on this base to affect these scoring so right now the score in the background's frozen and in 20 seconds, because the carrier wisely moved forward uh, to put pressure on the base, great carrier play, by the way, as a carrier player late in the game, if you have opportunities to capture bases, or even in this case, maybe an opportunity, maybe more aptly uh, labeled a necessity. Okay, he had to get in there. He had to freeze these points, uh, but we captured the base quickly. And now, uh, you know, we got a minute 20 left. So... He takes him out there uh, for a great finish, but pretty good game overall. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that one. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming for you all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys, and we'll see you all later. Peace.